Good day guys and welcome to another video. I'm Mogwa Z and today we're gonna talk again about Shroombot. If you haven't watched last week's video about Shroombot, make sure you do. I will link it up here. I'm happy to wait. Still here? Good. Today we're gonna go a little bit more advanced and we take advantage of all the Shroombot can do when it comes to Twitch. We will touch on alerts on the next video. I will do alerts for YouTube and Twitch together because that's basically the same fundamental, mostly when it comes to OBS. When it comes to YouTube, it's slightly different on the Streambot side, not on the OBS side. Are you ready, guys? Three, two, one, let's do this. All right, we're gonna do a normal command, like so command. We did the same last week. This is just a bit of a refresher. So I won't go as slow as I did last week. It's gonna be still very simple. So we go into actions. Under the action space, we right click, add. We give it a name. So for example, socials. And then group, because it's a bare stream bot, we don't have any groups. So we just type the name and stream bot will create automatically a group. Uh, for example, TTV chatbot commands. It's really good to have groups because as you can see, it's within a group now. Toggle in and toggle out. It's really good because then down the track you will have a lot of actions and without groups, it's really hard to know which action belongs where. So this is how you split them up into groups. Triggers, we'll right click again. Core, commands, command triggered. Obviously we don't have any commands because that's a base room bot, so we create a command. We call it, for example, socials. And then uh, the, this is the command itself. So what people uh, have to type in chat uh, to be able to get the reply. So it will be exclamation mark socials. Group. We're going to type it again. It will be TTV chatbot commands. And then we make sure that we untick ignore internal messages so we can use this window to trigger commands. And we want to make sure that it's uh, selected Twitch. In this case, we don't really need the cooldown. It's just a social command. Some command you may want to apply cooldown um, so people don't trigger them too often. Same thing for group permissions and user permission. You can select particular people to trigger this command. We'll have a look at the click command in a minute. We're going to see why you may want to only allow certain people to trigger the commands. It could be one group of people, so moderators, subscribers, or VIP, or you can select the user that you want the user, only that user or handful of users um, to use that command. Obviously, we don't have anyone at the moment, but, um, and then after that, we just go, okay. It will auto-populate and we go, okay. This is a basic command. So the only thing that we're going to do is right click, then we go to Twitch, we go chat, and then send message to channel. If you have bot connected, you will go bot, otherwise it will be broadcaster. In my case, my socials are https forward slash wogoz.net. We go, okay, it's done. So we go in the chat, socials. There you go. As you can see, I have <laughs> I have my, my other stream bot that is open. Uh, so we got uh, we got the alerts and we got as well the command, the double command in chat and, and the double welcome to chat, by the way. <laughs> uh, they, they all go at the same time. This is a very, very basic command. I promised you the clip command, so we're gonna do the clip command. It's gonna be, for the most part, exactly the same, except for the sub-action. 
So we we'll right click again, add. We call this one TTV clip. And then now we're gonna select the group. We only have one group because we created one group. It will be TTV chatbot commands. Okay, right click, core, commands, commands trigger. As you can see, we have the social one, but we need to create another one because you want the clip to be triggered, not by socials, because otherwise, you know, you get too many commands uh, and it only creates confusions, too many actions for the same command. So we create another command and we call it clip, TTV clip, and then the command will be exclamation mark clip group. We can select it because we already created it. We remove ignore internal messages. Twitch message, yes. I want to say global cooldown of 60 seconds at least. You don't want to trigger it too too often. And also, I only want only my moderators and my subscribers to uh, trigger it. I mean, VIPs as well. Let's put VIPs as well. But I don't want anyone to just trigger the crypt command. So we go OK here. Auto populates. OK. Right click. And we go into Twitch. Then we go into channel, create clip. Th that is it for the most part. What I like to do is right click again, Twitch, and then we got chat, send message to chat. And want to come out from the broadcaster and we're going to start using variables. Variables are codes that you use. For, for example, uh, instead of putting XYZ created a clip, you put exclamation mark user name so the person who triggers it it will come up with the name and then it will say uh just created a clip and we go okay so now we go and chat actually one thing that you can do if you are inside stream bot you can right click on the trigger and go test trigger it will activate the sub action it basically like type in exclamation mark clip or or whatever triggers you have and it lets you test stuff as you can see johnny abdayem it's one of my subscribers just created a clip there you go there is a clip command so if you have a stream deck or touch portal or anything or even just um, keybinds keybinds on your keyboard for example control uh, f, uh, f4 for example uh, you select it as trigger this is how you trigger it without you know having to type in chat now last command that i want to show you is shout out command I know there are video shout outs around. This is the basic one. If you do want the video one, I'm happy to um, make a video about it. Just let me know in the comments. So we right click, add, and then we do TTV, shout out. There will be C chatbot commands, okay. Right click, core. Commands, commands trigger, create commands, and we do TTV shout out, and the command will be SO. Group will be the same, obviously. We toggle off internal, ignore internal messages. We make sure that the Twitch message is selected. Same thing, we want to do 60 seconds. Out of the top of my head, can't do a shout out on Twitch uh, more um, like faster than every 60 seconds. So if you connect this command, which you can with the right alerts, you automatically shout out the person that rates you. But if you have multiple people rating you at the same time, it will not trigger. So I'm pretty sure it's 60 seconds cooldown for Twitch shoutouts, um, and you want only the moderators to, to do it, okay? 
Now, this is going to be a bit different. You have to go into Twitch user and then get user info for targets. And we do from input. Okay. Then right click again, Twitch, and we make a chat message. So now we're going to go into nitty gritty of variables. So we do user name. This is the first variable that we're going to use. I like to say go show some love to, and then we have the name of the person. They were seen last playing, and then we do game. Done. Oh, actually, you may want to do add as well. You can find them ads, and then you go https forward slash twitch.tv slash and then we put again user name make sure that the end for name is capital letter otherwise it won't work we go okay so now we do so what goes youtube i know but there you go sorry Go show some love to what was it? They were last seen playing Fortnite, which is the last you can't see me. <laughs> which is the last game that I played on stream. You can find them at twitch.tv slash what was it TV. Easy. Are we good? Awesome. So now we're gonna move into platform. Twitch. If you've been on Twitch for a little while, either as a viewer or as a live streamer, you've heard of channel points. Okay, you will have, you will have. So, those are the channel points that are available on my stream. You may notice that some of them don't have a purple background, but there are some that have a purple background. This one with the purple background, you can't edit them. You can only group them but you can't edit them. With the other ones, you can edit them. Reason being, because the, the one with the purple background, the board made on Twitch or via Twitch, but the other one they made via Streambot, they are editable as well on Streambot. For example, Want to make a new one? Again, right click add. We give it a title and it's going to be um, I am lit. You want to make sure that it's enabled in case you ask your viewers if they want to ask you a question or, for example, one of my um, Twitch channel point words is tireless. I ask people to make me do a tire list based on what they go for. Like for example, a tire list of games. Um, they give me four games, five games, and I have to give them my opinion on which one I think is better than the other. So you may want to make sure that you tick user input required. It means that when they trigger it, before it goes and trigger it, it will ask the viewer basically what they want to ask, what they want to, um, you know, the streamer to do. It's an extra step, but on some channel points, you do want to have it because otherwise it wouldn't, it wouldn't make sense. Like, for example, um, ask a question or... In this case, it was tireless. You want to have this, then you set the cost. Let's say 100, for example. The prompt is um, what you want. How do you describe your channel point? So I am lead. I am so lead. Don't you reckon? Right, you can choose a background color if you want. You select it and then it changes it straight away. There are some channel points that may be annoying. This is where you set how many times can be triggered per stream or per user per stream. Go back down the same as the commands. So if you put a 60 seconds 
cool down for 60 seconds that command cannot be triggered and then group if you're not split them into groups so for example you have one group that is only for games another group that is only for just chatting you can do that as well and you click ok and it's going to be here and then it's going to be on twitch as well so if we go into my dashboard and then i'm here to i am lit there you go Ta -ta -ra -ra, so I am lit, don't I? So because we 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 told them, um, we told Streambot user input requires. It says send the message. So we go pa 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 pa, -pa and then it will come up in chat as redeemed. I am lit, and then it will have the chat the the input from the user. Easy. When we go into polls. Polls are really good if you want people to give you an outcome. Let me explain. So right click add. The poll details will be how many times Logger Z will die uh, during this stream. And then we add options. So it will be uh, less than five and more than five add so you can do a minimum of two maximum of five so if if you have more replies you can put them in there vote duration you may want to put 60 seconds 15 seconds too fast and then channel pods per world you can ask people uh, to give you an answer based on you know, I don't know, 100 points per vote or something. Uh, and those, I remind, those points are the one that you earn by watching, by interacting in chat on Twitch and so on. So I'm, I'm going to leave it at zero. And then we go create. And it's going to create it here. And now for the next 60 seconds, you will see on Twitch, it appears on the top of the chat. And we're going to do less than five vote. And then by the end of the, the 60 seconds, it will say, hey, you know, by the way, option less than five won in this case, because I'm the only one playing, so it, it, I'm offline too. So this is how it will look. The same thing, sort of the same thing, predictions. So we've got add again. Name of prediction, my prediction, and we got the outcomes. We got outcome A, outcome B, same thing about 60 seconds. So now when we can create, it's gonna get here, and then if we click on the X, you will have win channel point correct prediction. So I say, you know, for example, how many times I will die this stream? But more than five, less than five, and people can bet their points. And then if they win, they get some sort of a kickback in channel points, obviously. If they lose, they lose the channel points. Uh, just basically for people to use their, uh, their channel points. But all comes in in chat, even though it's created by Shroombot. How easy is this, guys? I won't go any further because I'm pretty sure I've given you a lot of information by now. All right, I know it was a bit on the longer video, but I wanted to make sure that I was going slow enough for everyone to understand and also uh, give you a bit of a uh, explanation of what things does and what things doesn't. I hope you appreciate the video. Make sure you comment down below if I missed something or you want to know something else in particular. If you like this video, I'm sure you will like this video next or this video next. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Hello, mates.